tell them, I love dinosaurs. I've been collecting dinosaur teeth. In fact, Fran, I thought I was a bit crazy when I started collecting dinosaur poo, but that's another story. And yes, it still smells. <laughs> I've been uh, standing on the edge of active volcanoes like Mount Etna collecting rocks. I've, I've gone around the world collecting meteorites from all sorts of meteorite craters. And after all these travels, coming back here thinking, we have this incredible country. What about if we could take some curious explorers and go all around this amazing country of ours and find some of the incredible ancient wonders, many of them that we've actually visited ourselves, like? Well, how lucky were we? We've been to Kakadu and Uluru, Kadadura. A meteorite, a meteorite crater at Wolf Creek standing on the edge of there. And Bungle Bungles we've been to. We've been to many, many other places. places. And the places that we haven't been to, don't you worry, they're on our travel list, which is the idea of our country, to put a list together for families, all sorts of people that they can go and really enjoy and love this amazing country that we have here. And this is the vehicle that we travelled around in. And you'll see we had some very, quite a few adventures along the way. And this is what the vehicle looked like when... Our trips were over. Hmm. So I guess I started writing the story a couple of years ago, thinking about, wow, all this is locked down, all these amazing places that we can't go to now. And now um, Australia's opening up for travel. People are going to get to enjoy this book and really experience some of the places in it. So for me, it was an act of love to talk about the country that I love so much, which, of course, is Australia. Frenet, then, after I'd written a manuscript, a uh, got stuck into the illustration process and created this visual feast. So how did it start for you, Frenet? Well, first of all, I wanted to have a group of children that were quite diverse and uh, from, from across Australia. So I did a character study of all the different children and I actually gave them names and what their personalities were like. And the next thing I did is with some thumbnails of every, every single place and just to see which was working the best. And then I went on to my sloppy copies, uh, much bigger, and then painted the picture. So each picture would have taken me two or three days all day long. Sounds simple, doesn't it? And because uh, the map was the catalyst for the very beginning of the book, we thought, well, why not? Shouldn't we have maps on the end papers of the book? But actually, there's a couple of secret things about the end papers. The front end paper has all the places that are in the book. The back end paper has all the places, the more to explore places. Too. Our country, ancient wonders, let's go, let people get to know the fantastic places that are out there waiting to be discovered. Adventure is out there and there's more to explore.